Hey, do nuts, want to see a magic trick? Pick a number between 1 and 100. Don't say it out loud. I don't want to hear it, amateurs. You have a number? All right. 27. Now, statistically speaking, based on my last video's view count, about four of you just had your minds blown. Ta-da. In Zay Frank's video, Chase That Happy, he describes the bull tour in which he makes up random facts about his town, starting with the word, interestingly, I can't be out in the sun that long because it burns! It burns us! So until I build up an immunity to that, I would love to give you a bull tour of my apartment. Interestingly, the Tuesdays is the name of my nine-person band, but we all play the piccolo, so we don't do a lot of live gigs. This is our refrigerator. Interestingly, uh, both of these levers dispense water, but the water on the left comes out crunchy, and maintenance refuses to do anything about it. Interestingly, everything on my shelf was once used in the show MacGyver. Um, he made a big shelf of shit. <laughs> it's still intact. Aww. Interestingly, this keyboard predicts whatever words or sounds the keyboard player would make next. Sorry. Interestingly, that mat was white when we bought it. Interestingly, the smoke from this fireplace is how we tell our neighbors when we have chosen a new show to watch on Netflix. Spoiler alert, it's New Girl. Interestingly, that is where our gardener lives and grows all of our food. We are all pretty hungry. Interestingly, in the same way you can determine a tree's age by counting the rings, uh, the rings in my toilet tell you how many times I've peed since the last flush. That's just conservation. When half your water comes out crunchy, the water bill can skyrocket pretty damn quick. Don't judge. Interestingly, this is an old torture device from medieval times. It makes you feel extreme physical pain while you're in it, and then you continue to hate yourself for days to come. Interestingly, this bucket of candy was here when we moved in. Uh, the other day I reached for one of the loose pieces of gum and it moved away from my hand independently. Interestingly, this is an exact replica of the bathtub in Shaquille O'Neal's mansion. A uh, related fact, he actually prefers to shower. This was kind of a silly video, but as always, there's a point, so... Hey, listen! Today's video is all about chasing the feeling of happiness and inventing new ways to do that. I don't think happiness is a fleeting reaction to an event. It's an experience that often we have to work at if we want to hold on to it. Vlogging is how I chase my happy. Sometimes it's a lot of work, but it's always whatever I want it to be or need it to be. And if it's taught me anything, it's that anything worth feeling this good about is worth the effort in chasing it. Thanks as always just for watching. If you didn't like this video, here's a young dog whose life was changed by the Chase That Happy video. Okay, he's a very literal dog, but I think he still got the point. So what did you guys think of my place? Pretty sweet setup I got here, huh? Don't answer that. Should I do a tour of Indianapolis next? Or maybe one of my parents' house? Or should I just stop vlogging forever? Don't answer that either. Just give the video a thumbs up and pass it along to someone who will do the same.